Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today I'm just going to be telling you guys a few things that will hopefully help my channel about E3. There's a few new games getting released, and I believe these games are good games to add to my test benching system. Okay, so first of all we have Minecraft 4K. Yep, that is it. Minecraft will be getting 4K support and a lot better graphics. It's all going to be inside the Minecraft Super Duper Graphics Pack 4K. Now I'm pretty sure you all read the article, so I'm not going to be covering stuff like crossplay support and all that. I will just be talking about how this will affect my channel and possibly others as well. You see, Minecraft in 4K with the Super Duper Graphics Pack will simply add another title to add to my benchmarking list, so that's really all. Anyways, this will come true this fall, so stay tuned and uh, you can of course be hyped if you want to about new Minecraft in 4K or whatever. Next up is Ace Combat 7. This title may prove to be a more demanding title to add for my benchmarking if its engine is not optimized, of course. I mean, look at those graphics. But anyways, it should be released somewhere around 2018 and that's all about all I need to say. In third place we have Total War Warhammer 2. The Total War series has already proven to be a great series of titles for benchmarking, and Total War Warhammer 2 will definitely make it into the new list of benchmarking titles. Fourth, we have one of my favorite ones th to be adding to the benchmarking list, and it is a really good one. That is Project Cars 2. Project Cars is known to be a very demanding title, on high settings and even mid settings for that matter. This title will definitely be another game to add to my benchmarking titles, and of course, I'm sure many others will probably use this too, as it sucks a lot of power out of your PC. Finally, I have Star Wars Battlefront 2. This game should be seen this November and should be a good game to benchmark once again. The prequel was not too demanding even on its highest settings, but this one looks a lot more graphically demanding and look at how much action is going on. This is probably going to make your CPU go in too, if of course the engine is not optimized very good. It should be using your, your GPU and your CPU very heavily and it will make it into one of the common benchmarking titles, I'm pretty sure. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. And if you want to see more tech news from my channel, then be sure to subscribe for this one and uh, like this video down below. But otherwise, give it a dislike so I know you all hate this kind of stuff. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed no matter what, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.